decided to create SX with Lo. Um, it's pretty much just going to be a small little um, series of plastic surgery videos, pretty much just questions that a lot of you guys have been asking me. Um, I'm going to do a video of how I put on my faha and a post-op. I'm going to do uh, my round one video. I'm going to do my round two video. Um, and I'm just going to take you along with me on my plastic surgery journey um, because I'm not done. But for today's video, I am going to do a Q&A. Um, so recently... Um, I just had my round two with Dr. Cliff Cannon at Vixen Plastic Surgery. And since he's posted me on his Instagram at three weeks post-op, maybe I was six weeks post-op, somewhere around here, he posted me on his Instagram and I've gotten a flood of followers. Some people I still have not been able to accept yet on my surgery page. Um, and I definitely have a lot of questions. Um, and um, honestly, I just don't have the time to respond to 200 plus questions um, with the type of you know day that I live by and a lot of the questions are pretty repetitive so today I'm gonna do the top 10 questions that I get asked about surgery so let's see so the first question that I have on my list is the most asked question like you guys are so annoying but how many rounds have I had so right now I've had two rounds of a bbl and lipo 360. um i did go to two different providers um one provider i am completely in love with the other one i could have cared less for um so the second question is going to be who was my surgeon so for my round one i did go to dr kanye willis at mia aesthetics in miami florida and my round two doctor was Dr. Cliff Cannon at Vixen Plastic Surgery in Miami, Florida. Um, with Dr. Willis, she was okay. I wasn't really a fan, but um, I mean, you know, she, it was around one, it's your foundation, things like that, blah, blah, blah. But Dr. Cliff Cannon, I absolutely loved him. Like I went in, I told him what I wanted and he gave me that plus more. So the next question that I get asked is, what did I ask for? So for my round one, um, I kind of went in already having hips. I just wanted to, you know, look like I had a bigger butt, have the butt shown from the front. And um, she did give me more hips. So I was, I guess, okay with that. But she just did not do the body the way that I wanted it to be done. So with Dr. Cliff Cannon, I did ask for lats and when I went in he, you know he was kind of just like well what am I doing like you don't really have that much fat like what do you want done and I basically told him I want lats like I want huge hips and he told me that if I did lats you know I was going to come out looking super boxy and I wasn't going to have the curvy body that I have now so he told me that high hips would be the best solution in my case so i took his recommendation and i did go ahead and get high hips and i love the way that my body looks now i completely understand what he meant by the whole boxy lats look and i'm so satisfied with the high hips that i got um the next question that i get asked a lot which is going to be question number four what are your measurements so my measurements are a 32 up top on the breast my waist is a 20 um it definitely fluctuates between a 20 and a 21 inch um it kind of depends on the day and how much i'm compressing and my hips right now at the moment are about a 49 after surgery they were about a 52 um, so I definitely would say, I'm not really sure if I lost inches, but the swelling went down. Um, so I'm about a 49 now. Um, question number five is how did I get my waist so small? And <laughs> this question is so funny to me because I always kind of had a small waist. Um, 
it was never really like I was boxy shaped. I always had like a Coke bottle shape. I just had no ass. So um, in my case, going into my round one, my surgery starting waist was about a 26 after surgery. Um, after I healed and everything, I went down to about a 22 inch waist. Um, I gained maybe about 30 pounds for my round two going back into surgery at round two my waist was back at a 26 inch waist and now today after round two my waist is 20 21 inches so what i do to get my waist so small is i compress 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 i wear my faja 24 7 still at like 10 weeks post-op um i wear about three foams on each side and then i wear two foams in the front two foams in the back i wear ab board and i wear backboard um so i do do that i am wearing a custom tributo faja which i absolutely love um i've had it for over a year and honestly it's falling apart i have another faja that i just don't like as much and i love my tributo faja so that is how i keep my waist so small don't forget to eat right the next question is, did I like Dr. Cannon? Will I go back? I love Dr. Cannon. Um, personally, I thought his office was amazing. Um, I just had a lot of things going on at the time of my round two surgery. I was kind of stressed out. I even walked out of the facility and one of the girls, you know, came back, talked to me, calmed me down. Um, you know, we did what needed to be done for me to get my surgery. And then when I met Dr. Cannon the next day, I thought he was the sweetest. Um, honestly, he was so nice. He's a small little man, um, but you know, they usually are the ones that hold like the most personality. Like he, he was just super nice. Um, so I would definitely recommend Dr. Cannon. I would definitely go back. Um, I had another surgery planned for something else, which you see in a later video. And I'm thinking about switching to go and see Dr. Cannon. Um, so question number seven is how was my pain for round two? And honestly, it was a piece of cake. I didn't have any pain. I was up and walking that same day. Um, you know, my husband came with me the second round and uh yeah he didn't really have to do anything um even my round one i wasn't in a lot of pain i mean i was clearly in more pain than i was my round two mm -hmm. but by round two your body's used to the trauma um and you know it just it went by in a breeze i can't even believe i'm at 10 weeks post-op right now it went by so fast so on a scale from zero to ten i would say my pain level was like a two um the next question which is basically like question number seven but question number eight is was round two easier um i would definitely say that round two is a piece of cake but my round one was a piece of cake so um for me um i would just say it's easier for a lot of dolls that are going to be going into their round two if you were in a ton of pain round one i just want to let you know now round two is nothing like, you're not going to be in any of that pain that you had before. Your body is used to the trauma. You know what to expect when getting a massage. Nothing is coming out of surprise now. You've experienced this before. Your body's experienced it before. So I would definitely say it's 10 times easier than round one. Um, question number nine is, how often do I get my massages? So... At the beginning, I was getting a massage every day um, until I was about three weeks post-op. The person that I do my massages with here in D.C., um, I love her so much. Her name is Missy Amani. Um, so she recommended that I start going once a week. So I did go from going every day to going once a week. And then I have missed about two weeks. So I'm going for another massage tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. Um, I just love the way I feel after my massages. I get super swollen. And with this round especially, I have been so swollen. I did not experience the amount of swelling that I've experienced this go around. 
So um, I definitely would just recommend you getting your massages. I don't care if your rent is due. Get a massage, please. I don't care if your car note is due. Get a massage. If you cannot afford to get a massage daily, then you don't afford to get you can't afford to get plastic surgery. Like it's that simple. And the last question is what am I getting done next? Um <laughs> So, I am going to do a video on what my next surgery would be. Um, so, I don't want to go into it too much in detail, but it is going to be from the waist up. Um, so, if you can figure it out, let me know down in the comments. Um, if you like this video, please let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe. If there's other things that you want to see in regards to surgery, whether it be how to put your faha on correctly, um, seeing the footage from my round one experience or my round two, please let me know um, because I'm open to everyone's ideas and I want to help you guys as much as possible. And again, thank you for spending time out of your day to come and listen to me run my mouth. It is very much so appreciated. And I hope we make another video. I hope you guys like this video. Um, yeah, so anybody that's following me from Instagram, um, please let me know what you think about this and give me some more content. We can continue to keep going. Love you, ladies. Bye.